Hi everyone, John here with a quick, hopefully it'll only go on for five minutes if that. It's it's a new video on, I think I've already done a video before, of is a Hackintosh really, really worth getting? Now, I've got to say, a year ago, six months ago, I'd have said, unless you're in for pissing about and messing around and doing things to get things going, I would have said, yeah, if you're prepared to mess about a bit, of course it is, because it's a lot cheaper and you can build a much powerful system for half the money. But now I've got to say that some of the new hardware that's coming out, if you look on Tony Mac's um, website, I don't know where we are now, I'll just see if I can find that. If we just go to Tony Mac's website here and we can go to the forum and look at the builds and stuff like that, you can really see that some of the new systems are absolute, even for a, a real beginner, they're absolutely really easy to get going. I mean, to get this mountain lion to go here, basically, all I had to do was, I'll just minimise that for a second, oops, um, I'll just minimise that. Yeah, all I had to do basically was boot from a USB stick I'm using a Z77-DS3H motherboard dual gigabyte UEFI BIOS uh, so it means I don't need a DSDT file so I install more or less with it and then I install a piece of software and there's a couple of little ticks to click and that's it everything just works I'm using the Radeon uh, AMD HD 6870 graphics card which is supported by Mountain Lion and Lion and it and it just works in really 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 easy without pissing about and messing about there's no before you have to get your DSDT and if it won't patch correct you have to do this but now I'd really say that the, the new hardware if you look before you buy a system You'll get a Mac, uh, an Akintosh. I mean, this my system here is easy as much as the two and a half grand Akintosh uh, Mac, with all the spec that's in it, and it didn't cost me nowhere near that at all. Um, I'm using a 24, 25 inch screen. Um, so yeah, I'd honestly say that do your own work and get some of the modern hardware, and it'll work absolutely. A treat really really easy um, like I say a year ago even worse going back two years it was a real real pain to get an Akintosh to work but now it's really really easy to do Um do your own work though and, and what I would say is be careful because sometimes you jump on a website and there's a lot of shit being spoke meaning you'll read oh this graphics card works and then you'll go buy one and it actually doesn't work properly. So really, really go to Tony Mac's website, which is, am I on it right one here? Is it this one or this one? No, it's this one. Go to this website and really read through and make sure, th like I can highly vouch a gigabyte board with a dual UEFI bias um, and it won't need a DSDT file, so that's what you want. And I can highly vouch for the AMD 68 HD 6870 graphics card. I do believe the 6850 or any of the 68 series work just the same. Um, I have been using Nvidia a lot, but I found lots of little glitches with them. So I've come away from Nvidia now, and I now use Radeon. And now I've used Radeon when I install Mountain Lion, it just works. There were no nothing to click, nothing to do. It just worked. The only thing I really installed in Multi Beast was a little patch for the CPU um, because the stepper gets locked and I installed the internet driver for the onboard, sat, uh, onboard ethernet port and everything just worked out of the box. Um, that's on a Hackintosh, just no messing around. Anyway, I hope this video helps. Um, and thoughts of Mountain Lion or Lion over Windows 7, over Windows 8. I've had a go Windows 8. I liked it. I hated it at first, but now I'm actually, the more I use it and the more I figure out 
how they've changed things around a little bit, but not that much. I'm starting to like it. I think it's great. But I do think, as a workhorse, that, that, that OS X is better. I mean, I like the way you can just click on a picture and just press space bar. Do you know what I mean? And you can do the same on a movie. You can just click on it. Oh, it's a JPEG. That's not a movie, sorry. Have I got my Final Cut training video? If I just click here now and press space bar, it just starts playing the movie straight off. And it does the same with RAW files. Whereas in Windows, for starters, when you've installed Windows, it won't play a MOV file. You've got to download a codec. Um, you've got to double-click on pictures to view them. Uh, on, on Mac, you can just press space bar and have a quick preview. Um, same with videos. You've got to double-click them on the Mac. You can just press the space bar and the video will come straight up. I like how RAW files, you can just view a RAW file by pressing space bar. Whereas in Windows, you can only really view it in a bridge or a piece of software. Um, I do believe somehow you can get it to work, but I think the Mac takes it for that. And I use Windows and OS X. And I've got to say, I've used Windows for a lot of years, and I've been using the Mac now for about two. Um, a lot of problems at first, pissing around, but now it's just absolute perfect, a dream to use. And... And I, and I think the Mac does beat it slightly. Um, it does anyway. When I'm in Photoshop and doing stuff like that, I notice that when I start to get a little bit of lag, it happens quicker in Windows, does does the bit of lag, than in the Mac. Is there a great deal of difference? Loads? No, not really, because Windows is pretty good now as well. So it's down to personal preference. But the good thing about having a Hackintosh is a lot of Mac users now are actually liking to use Windows as well because there's some features that people just like in Windows. But they they are, they run it in emulated. Whereas if you've got a Hackintosh, you can have a, a boot drive for Windows and a boot drive for the Mac like I've got. These two, This drive here is an 120 gigabyte SSD, which is Mountain Lion, what you're seeing. And this drive here is actually got, it's an 120 gig, another SSD, and that's got Windows 7 on it. And I can just restart the computer and boot from Windows 7. And it's not emulated, so it's running at really, really good power. Whereas with a Mac, or with a Mac, yeah, um, you've got to run emulated now. A Windows 7 machine, you can download VMware and still run the Mac operating system. But again, that's running emulated, and I have tried it, and it's not nowhere near the same as having a damn right down and out Hackintosh or a proper Mac or whatever way you want to go about it. I don't want to start a war off. Um, I usually don't start wars off. Um, so, yeah, I hope this helps. And if you're going to build a Hackintosh, they work absolutely spot on nowadays. But make sure you just do a bit of homework i can help you on getting your hardware and don't just read a quick review and go oh, that works and go get it make sure that you've looked at the maker graphics card and everything like that anyway thanks for watching please comment and subscribe